Hey guys, I'm Dave Moore here. Just wanted to do a review on a product that I recently bought. You've probably seen it on my Instagram and in a few posts. It is the NC Star Vism Discreet Rifle Case. Ultimately what it is, it is a rifle and gear bag that is a little more compact and a little bit more discreet than your normal rifle case. The reason I bought it was because I was looking for a alternative to the AR hard case. The hard case is a little long and unwieldy and it's kind of awkward when you're walking up the stairs or trying to transport it somewhere. Not to mention, it doesn't really fit a whole lot in it. You can pretty much fit the rifle and maybe a sling and a few mags. That's about it. So I wanted something that was a little bit more compact than your normal rifle bag. So I did a search and I ended up coming across a review done by Such00. And he got, got this case, it is you know, the NCU Star Vism. He did a review on it, he seemed to like it, so I figured I would try it out. So I bought one, and so far I really like it. I'm not going to copy Such's review, this is not what this, this is about. This is pretty much showing you what I have in it, and why I have that stuff in it. Uh, his review is very good, I recommend you check out his review as well, Such00. He seems like an awesome dude. I didn't get a chance to meet him at the NRA annual meeting, but I did see him, but I just didn't say, say hi, I guess. So I'm gonna switch to a close-up view, that way you can see everything I have in it, and I'm pretty much gonna dive into the reasons why it is in there. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is the NC Star Vism Discreet Rifle Case. At least I believe that's what it's called. Vism is spelled V-I-S-M. So you can tell it's pretty narrow, it's pretty thin, and it's about an arm's length long. I believe this is 36 inches, 20, what, something like that, I don't know. But it just kind of looks like a briefcase that's made in nylon. So opening it up is just a zipper. So you unzip it and open it, and here is all of your accoutrements. So what I have in this now is my rifle, half of it at least right here. I have my spare sling and some lens covers. I have some cheap binoculars, just Minolta. I have my Raven Concealment Modulator with two double-decker de HSGI tacos. And that is for, if I'm using my rifle, I'm probably going to want some type of uh, mag-carrying device. Here's my lower receiver. I have my Becker BK7 knife, which is probably my favorite knife that I have. Moving over to this next compartment, as you see, there's three of them. I have my Maxpedition dump pouch. I have some rifle magazines. Usually I'll have these loaded and I'll have probably four or five in there. But for the sake of the video, I just toss these in there real quick because I was kind of going through this bag a little earlier. I have two pair of gloves, some mechanics wear and some set wear gloves. And this does have a tie down here that you can put pretty much whatever you want in it. As you can tell, it fits the magazines in there perfectly. So everything I kind of have just in here to where it fits. However you put it in there, whatever, you've got all these compartments. Up here are some zipper pockets, opening it up. This is actually the shoulder strap for this bag. I don't use the shoulder strap, at least I haven't used it yet, but I have it in there just in case. And down here, I've got, well right there is a spare battery, spare AAA battery for my Ear Pro. I have some paracord for whatever reason you might need that for. And some Surefire Sonic Defenders, just spare Ear Pro, I like to have earplugs in all of my bags and at least in my car that way if I forget it I have them. Through here I have the handy dandy MS clean kit. You all know about that by now. I have a fire starter because why not? They're cheap and expensive and they work. That is a ferro rod and some spare 2032 batteries obviously for my optics because the Bushnell TRS 25 does not have the battery life that I w wish it did, but whatever. Also my sling, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So pretty much everything just kind of goes right back in where you put it. There is kind of an organizational scheme that you need to use with this, just to make sure it all fits right and it's not too tight, not too loose. That's what she said. But all in all, it fits pretty much everything you need. Now you're not gonna, gonna put a plate carrier in here, you're not gonna put, you know, whatever, chest rigs, maybe, but it really fits my needs. I like how it just holds a rifle. It's not as long as a rifle. It's a little more compact and it can fit everything that I need. Ultimately, this bag for me is my rifle bag. If I'm going to the range or in a situation where I will need my rifle, everything that is in here is pretty much based around my rifle, except for the fire starter, all that. So I've got my mag carriers. I can toss on real quick if need be. Binoculars for obvious reasons, mags, gloves, dump pouch, sling, and 
of course, the rifle. So this really fits my rifle niche and is a very good bag to go to and from the range. It's very easy to conceal. If people look in your car and see it, they're not, it's not gonna scream, hey, there's a rifle in there. A downfall to it is, I kind of wish these pockets were designed um, with maybe a few more smaller pockets or maybe some mag pouches that you could store mags in, in the lid here. Uh, this rifle pouch here for the upper seems to be a little narrow, especially if you have an optic on it. You kind of have to finagle it, but it could just be me. I'm not sure. Another thing is the rifle has to be stored in two pieces, obviously, which if you want a discrete bag like this, you're going to have to store it in half. I mean, that's just kind of how it is. So if you're ever in a situation where you really need to grab your rifle really quick, you're going to have to put your rifle together. But... I guess that's not really a downfall because the bag is designed to be this size for a reason. But if you had a really short rifle, like an SBR or a pistol rifle, AR pistol, you could fit the whole thing in here, no problem. I think Such had a AR pistol and it fit the whole thing in here uh, with ease. But that's really it. This is the NC Star, NC Star Vism discrete rifle case, rifle bag, whatever they exactly call it. And I mean, it's good. If you're looking for a product that's this size that will fit just a select amount of stuff, then you should probably check, uh, check one out. I believe they're about $40. I think I got this on eBay. So it's really affordable and it seems to be a good build. Haven't really hauled it around much, so we'll see if the stitching holds up to, uh, to spec. But like I said, this is the NC Star Vism Discrete Rifle Bag. All right guys, so that is my review of that bag. Like I said, there's pros and cons, but there's pros and cons to everything. I just wanted the bag that was about that size and it seems to fit that niche very, very well. Make sure that if you have any video suggestions or any ideas, anything that you want to hear me talk about, uh, let me know down in the comments or message me on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Because I'm always looking for ideas and I'd rather make stuff that people want to see than just stuff that randomly pops in my head, of course. And uh, make sure to check out my Instagram at iDaveMore. Check out my Flickr at Flickr.com backslash photos, backslash iDaveMore. My name on there is actually iDaveMore1 because somebody already took iDaveMore. Uh, Twitter, same thing and all that. Most of you know how, how to find me by now. But let me know all of your video suggestions, comments, or concerns, and make sure to stop by Squidaway Surplus for all of your gear and accessory needs. But until then, keep shooting, guys.